In this video, we'll talk about rhinovirus. Rhinovirus has nothing to do with rhinosaurus. So rhinus means nose. So it has something to do with rhinitis or inflammation of the nose. So rhinovirus is the culprit behind common cold. So it belongs to the uh, <coughs> picoronaviridae family. Its genus is uh, enterovirus and it's basically human rhinovirus is the species. It's non-envelope, that means it's a naked virus and it has positive sense single-stranded RNA as genome. And this is the common cause of uh, seasonal flu and common cold. So basically, let's look at, look at the epidemiology. So more than 100 serotype exist for rhinovirus. Transmission generally happens via respiratory droplets, contact or sometimes with fomites. And there are peak of incidence of rhinovirus infection and that happens in the spring and the fall season. Now rhinovirus infects the epithelial cell of the upper respiratory tract. So if we zoom into the upper respiratory tract we can see the cells can get affected with the rhinovirus. And these, the, these viral infection is augmented by cold temperature. And this rhinovirus can bind to ICAM-1 receptors on the host cell. So here is the rhinovirus which binds to the ICAM-1 receptor on the host cell, which lead to receptor-mediated endocytosis of the virion particle. Then there is a change in pH in the endosome, so the overall capsid dismantles and release the genomic material, which is positive stranded RNA. That can be recognized by the host machinery and proteins can be produced in the endoplasmic reticulum. Eventually, this positive stranded RNA would be uh, making more copies of itself. By the way, all the viral particles, capsid proteins, matrix proteins, etc. would be produced in the endoplasmic reticulum, trafficked by Golgi, and ultimately combined with the replicated genomic material to form a new virion particle and thereby it just moves out of the cell and affects nearby cell. So our body also fight back to this infection by the help of cytotoxic CD8 positive T cells. If you want to know how CD8 positive T cells work, you can click on the video. And basically interferon responses are uh, the responses against virus infection. Again, all the links are provided in the I button. The clinical symptoms involve sudden onset of fever, cough and sore throat, sometimes muscle ache, sometimes headache and fatigue. So there could be complications like bronchitis, sinusitis, otitis media, asthma or COPD are rare but can still occur. So this is the overall um, incubation period. It lasts about two weeks. So uh, incubation period of these vi virus is basically one to three days. Then the symptom starts appearing like coughing, cold, uh, basically high fever, etc. And eventually fever slows down within two, three days. Then the runny nose remains for about a week. Coughing can last for more than even 14 days. So this is the overall um, symptoms associated with rhinovirus infection. Now, these virus is a replicate, uh, so it's basically a respiratory droplet mediated transmitted virus. So basically, it's highly contagious. It can be spreading in public gathering, uh, in classrooms, crowded bus, etc. Diagnosis is based on normal flu seasons, normal clinical uh, symptoms. I mean, nobody do a lot of tests for common cold, right? But anyway, laboratory tests are not necessary in this case, but PCR can be used for any of these viral detection. Generally, it is not used until unless the case is really severe, nobody really does a test for a common cold, do you? But anyway, the management involves uh, no specific antiviral therapy and neither any vaccine. So the whole thing is basically let your body fight against the virus. There are ways by which body can really eliminate this virus. All these links are in the I button, you can watch it. And if you take proper rest, stay hydrated, it would resolve. Best to best, what one can do is take analgesics, antipyretics, etc. Other than that, there is no way of like uh, take any other precautions or anything. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in next video.